Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to learn how to use uh, a type of end milling called simple optimization. To start with, I'm going to select the face to machine, right click and choose end milling. Here I'm using a 3 8 diameter end mill. I'm going to go into my settings here and I'm just going to change a few things. First of all, I'm going to get rid of my spring pass, set that to zero, and I'm going to set maybe a 40% step over. Now, if we look at this tool path, you can see it's leading in from the outside, it's cutting around, and then it's doing this nice little arc move to step in this nice little arc move to step in, and so forth, so on, and it's doing its thing. But wouldn't it be cooler if we could do this as a constant spiral? Well, here's how you do that. Right down here is an option called Simple Geometry Optimization. This works based on cutting either a circular face or a rectangular or square face. Now, if we look, this move here is happening because we're starting by the internal or by the inside of the profile. I'm going to switch by external. We're leading on and doing our constant spiral cut in. If I go to my geometry button and I select this face as well, you can see even here, we're starting here and just spiraling into the cut. Of course, if we make the cut bigger or smaller, it will update accordingly. And like that, you've now learned how to use simple geometry optimizations within Top Solid 7.